had to get it cleaned up a little bit, you know, before I started working on it. It was pretty greasy, pretty grimy, and uh, so yeah, it's better. There was lots of crud in there. It ain't perfect, but it'll do. Next thing to do is pull the gas tank off of it so I can get at the starter. Because as you can see, it's electric start. The motor is free. Um, turns over fine, and I pulled the air cleaner off, and the carburetor is nice inside. Little 40 to 1 gasoline. This motor hasn't been running in a long time. The oil is up and it's clean. It's an automatic choke on it, so when you turn the throttle up, it goes. I uh, I disconnected. Let me swing you down here and back up a little bit. I disconnected the wires to the ignition switch um, because the ignition is frozen. The throttle doesn't work, so I have to work it right here, like that, and that brings it up and makes it closed, and as soon as I crank it, make sure it's in the neutral here. Yeah, that's neutral. We're all hooked up, ready to go, let's see what happens. Give it a little start fluid. I haven't checked the uh, spark at all. Open this up. Give it a shot. See what happens. I haven't checked the spark. The only thing I did was check oil. Guess I better check for spark, huh? Okay, I got the spark tester hooked. And you hauler, let me know if you see any spark in there, okay? Here we go. I didn't see any, did you? Well, it's old enough. This might have points in it even. So, I'll have to do a little bit of investigation. And so, I thought to myself, self, why do I want to mess with points and condenser when I can upgrade to electronic ignition? So, that's what I did. This is the old coil, and you can see the wire that I cut, which is still, well, I don't know if we can see it now, but it's, it's still down underneath there somewhere. Here it is right there. The other end that I cut off. And I have replaced it with electronic coil. Which just has one wire and that wire is just the kill wire. Of course the other one had kill wire. And this is the original kill wire here which I'm going to cut off as soon as this is running. And I don't have the shroud on or any of that good stuff. But well, it'll start. So let me get you set up on the uh, stand. Get to it. Okay, now you tell me if I'm getting spark or not. And I'm not talking about the spark down here on the starter either. Oh, yeah. You saw it. You saw it right in there. So we're going to pull that off of there. And I'm going to give it a little gas. And we're going to give it a try. Give it a little choke. Let's we'll see what happens. Okay. Need to give it some a little bit more gasoline. I have no idea what the carburetor is like, but you heard it fire. <clears throat> this is the inside of the float bowl. There's the needle valve. 
I would say I'm probably going to have to do some major work on that carburetor. Not good at all. Hopefully I can re revive the carburetor. But we'll try one more time starting it. You heard it fire already. Let me try uh, keep squirting some gas in there and see what happens. I need to do a carburetor overhaul if I can. I'll have to take the carburetor off and see how bad it is. I think this baby is going to need an acid bath. Maybe some vinegar for a couple of days. That is not good. Yuck. This is George. That goofy old Shade Tree Fix-It Man saying, here's looking at you, friends. Ooh. Bye now.